right, here he is, the UFC middleweight king, the Reaper, Robert Whittaker. Back-to-back -back wins over Yoel Romero. Hard to quantify, though, how difficult those 50 minutes against Yoel Romero were and what type of toll it might take on Whitaker here moving forward. Yes, but after the Romero fights, there was a lot of time in between fights for Whitaker, which allows you to recover. Because you hear the stories about the guys that say they fight Yoel. No one's like him. No one feels like right. him. But Robert Whitaker was able to manage that over the course of two very, very difficult fights. And he was able to do that because of the fantastic cardio. The great wrestling mentality and also the unbelievable striking and the ability to stare down the barrel of a loaded shotgun in your yeah. Romero's left hand and feel safe. That allowed Robert Whitaker to keep his belt in both of those instances. And we knew from his debut in 2012 that he would be something special. He has certainly been every bit that. So Islam Makashev getting back on the proven ground here tonight, putting his undisputed UFC lightweight championship on the line. So much to love about this man's mixed martial arts acumen, his fight IQ, and you got to think it's going to take the very best out of his opponent to rest the belt away tonight. Anyone, anyone that hopes to beat Makhachev has to be on their game. Your wrestling's got to be on point. Your striking's got to be on point. But more than anything, you have to have a steel mind you cannot break in front of a hot chip because he will then drown you. This guy is a champion for a reason. And as you have seen time and time again, Hasbula ha. joins the Dagestanis in the octagon. Perhaps that's an X factor tonight. The great Hasbula in the corner of Islam Makashi. Islam Makashi ready to make another major statement here tonight. And now our kill the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Robert the Reaper Whitaker. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC welterweight Champion of the world, Islam Makacha! So Herb Dean, third man Great in there fight. for this one. Great. Good. All right, here we go with the former UFC middleweight champion, Robert Whitaker. How good is this guy? This is the guy that DC plays with more than any other fighter in EA Sports UFC 5. And that, of course, has to do with the appreciable skill set, the star power, and everything else. But Robert Whitaker needs a win here tonight. He was humbled by Drakus Duplessis. Now the focus is on putting all of his skills together and leaving no stone unturned when it comes to putting himself back on a championship trajectory. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. All right, so a little bit of a pedestrian start to this fight about a minute in. Not much action on either side. Is that a feeling out process? What do you see? John, you just woke me up. <laughs> Pouring in here. Come on, get to work. Press the button. All those buttons, bang on them, and start creating some action. And they separate. Man, how about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all when it comes to a stand-up in the box. And that is a full display right now. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that column tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. 
Locked under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, in the ball. Back to his feet. Just misses there with the left. Oh, beautiful job to get the kick home to the body. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, nice straight punch there by Whitaker. Those are big strikes. Just missed with the left there. Fighters separate from the clinch. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Minute and a half to go in our opening round. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Big takedown. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Whitaker. Neon Billy. He's laying down ground upon. If he doesn't move on the bottom, he's going to get finished. Looks like the referee could step in here. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. Oh. One set oh, for the end of round one. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. He did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allows his opponent to get to his hips. And because of that, he's been safe. Oh, great striking from Robert Whitaker as usual. This man put some serious pressure on you. And when you can beat your own Romero the way he did, he is not going to be intimidated by any other. Oh, huge connection there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a cool blow in a big moment in this fight. Take your time. Take your time. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go get it. You gotta go find the finish. 
You cannot let him off the hook like that because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Ah, Ten ah, minutes in the ah, books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Okay, let's get behind that jab and start throwing your kicks out there. Punches first. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Ready. Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Let them go now. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Ooh, big shot, man. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Whitaker. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get... Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Makashev's back in side control. What he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions, are what gets you submitted a lot of times. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Johnny, then he just gets up. There it is, now he's going to mouth. Just over two minutes to go. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Islam Akasha. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Keep that top position and work your elbows. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Short time now in the round. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Final seconds. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. Deep breath and recover and relax. Let's get that heart rate down. Breathe deep breath. You're looking a little tired out there last round. This round. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. Ready to fight? Ready. 
All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Shev's in half guard now. Nice shots landing from the top position. Another strike gets through from the top position. Nice transition. Oh, right into Mount. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Two minutes have gone by. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. He's got to be careful here. Makashev's looking for that arm triangle now. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Fight IQ on full display there. Recognizing he was losing the sub, elected to keep the dominant position. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not... Right, be careful there. Good work from the top here by Islam Akasha. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Whitaker's in half goal. Now he's going full mount. Big right hook there by the champ. Making all these shots count. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. That Darce choke is tight. Tight submission locked in. Darce choke seems to be very close to being finished. He cannot get inside. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and showed in that defense. Well, this Break is a tough off. fighter to buck off. Very oh. good pressure and work here by Whitaker. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round right, four. Listen. That was a beautiful round. But close to the submission there. I need you to put him back down on the ground. This round, I want you to finish that submission. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys do. Landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect. Oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. Oh, he's got his back. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Good, solid strike on the ground. Another ground and pound strike lands. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Whitaker's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Position by Islam Akasha. Getting the ball here. 
Kulashev's got his back again. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the field. This feet. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling. That's exactly what they got in that exchange. Whitaker gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submission. Little judo throw there to take him down. High praise, I would think, from the Olympian DC. Nicely done. I mean, it was beautiful. The way that he stepped across, got his hips and started driving into his opponent. What a phenomenal. Oh, shot there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Just missed with the elbow there. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You can tell by his eyes. He's taking peeks. He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. Oh, nice strike landed there by Islam Makhashe. Nice body kick. All right, so a tremendous title fight tonight. I know we're still digesting everything we just saw, but if I'm a judge, I'm giving the nod to the challenger and now new champion of the world. They always say you have to take the belt from the champion. I believe he did just enough to take the belt from the champ. It's gonna be a very close decision, but I do believe we have a new champion. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner, by split decision, and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Robert the Reaper Whitaker! Well, he's still on the right side of 30, and Robert Whitaker just continues to add to what is already the best legacy for an Australian fighter in U.S.